So there's a lot of people who don't have access to Lightroom or Photoshop or other software. So I'm going to show you how to use the free Photos app on an iMac. So usually I'm going to use Lightroom and Photoshop, but today I'm gonna do it for free with the Photos app. So I have a couple pictures, these three taken different days. Um, these are kind of overexposed and uh, so I'm gonna be fixing that, changing the colors and stuff with these tools that I have. There's obviously gonna be less tools um, than Lightroom which is fine, but we'll just work with that. So, um, first off, I'm just going to turn it to black and white. This helps get it so I can do the exposure nice and how I want. So I'm gonna bring that down. Exposure, I think. Go down, because it's a little overexposed. Then highlights for this photo. I like how it looks. A little right there is good. And shadows, I'm gonna bring that up a little. Brightness, probably down. That looks better. Contrast, bring that up around there. And black point, I'll bring that. Apparently, this is down. Okay. So starting to look better um, in black and white so then I'll come to the curve I'm gonna bring this if it'll go up yeah okay I'll bring that up give it a little fade and also bring the whites down give it a nice faded look as well and I'll bring down the shadows maybe about there and bring up the highlights not too much all right there's good so basically when you're doing this you just want to make it look good as a black and white photo so then after i'm done with that i'm going to turn off black and white and it's already looking better i'm not sure how to do this is before and after already so then with color you're going to want to for me, I usually bring down the saturation. Right about there is good, not too much. Um, these, I guess, bring the contrast up. Not sh really sure what cast does. Um, then here you have white balance. I'm going to probably warm it up a little just because I like my photos uh, looking like that. Then. Usually I'll add, I'll add a little bit of red to my photos in the shadows. I just like how that looks. Just a tiny bit, super small. Like, and then maybe we'll see how a little blue looks in the highlights. Yeah, I don't think I like how that looks. So, uh, Okay, I think that's back to normal. All right. So now, selective color. I'm not really sure. Okay, sometimes I will make the greens super blue, or I'll make them super orange or yellow. For this, I'm gonna do how I did it originally. It was more towards the blue side. And also going to bring the saturation down and luminance up. Then yellow, I'm going to bring that more that way and also down a little and luminance up. Then I'm going to see what the red does. It kind of does her face, so I'm going to leave that where that is. Maybe make it a little more purple. A little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to bring the saturation up. She was looking kind of sick in that. Um, maybe the luminance down in her face. 
All right. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of grain, but not always. Now this one, I'm pretty much, I've done all I can really do with this app. Um, maybe I might make it a little sharper or less sharp or something like that. But I think this is, this is okay for what we're working with. So quickly, I'm just gonna add this to the other photos and we'll see how it looks. All right, so that's it. There's that one. This one will load. That one, that one. Still not really centered on this one, but just trying to get through this. This one I will probably make smaller, but I just want to make sure she's centered because that's one of the things that just does not look good at all is when they aren't centered or when they're like almost centered, but they're not. That's the worst. All right. So that's it. See you guys in the next video.